Hey guys, welcome to another lit episode. Uh, today's project is this 3D Star Wars Hyperspace Nightlight. This project is a little bit more for uh, the advanced people. So if you're just starting out in laser cutting, you can always try this project later on. Um, I suggest you watch some of my other videos on the basics of laser cutting, such as engraving on acrylic and cutting on acrylic or wood um, before you do this one. But if you're up for the challenge, go ahead and give this one a try. Uh, this one can change into different colors as well. As you can see here. Yeah. And um, by the way, during this video, I keep on saying hyperspeed. What I meant to say was hyperspace, which is the correct term for... Uh, for this so um, please forgive me for that and anyways um, I'll show you guys what you need for this project we will need four millimeter clear cast acrylic four millimeter black acrylic or you can also use three millimeter it should be fine um, some four millimeter mirrored acrylic you can also use three millimeter mirrored acrylic but it will work as well just as long as your uh, cast acrylic is 4mm. And this LED strip with a base on it. Why the clear cast acrylic needs to be 4mm is because the slot on this LED strip is 4mm wide. So it needs to match with the acrylic. And lastly, you will need some CA glue to hold everything together and with some activator. We'll be laser cutting five different parts for this nightlight. On the clear cast acrylic, we will cut out these three parts. For the black acrylic, just this one part. And for the mirrored acrylic, this one part. How everything fits together is that this hyper speed background will be glued on top of this mirrored acrylic, uh, which will give the illusion of depth. And then this Millennium Falcon will be engraved and cut and placed and glued on top of this black acrylic to uh, make the details pop out more on this Falcon. Lastly, we will have this stand here which we will actually heat up and bend so we can glue it on the back of the nightlight so it can stand. We'll start off with a Millennium Falcon. Firstly, you have to have a PNG image of the Millennium Falcon. I found this on Google. You can search up Millennium Falcon black and white and choose um, whichever design you want. I chose this one. You load it into Lightburn. And then second step is you have to dither the image and make it negative. So choose the image, right click, adjust image. And for the image mode, you can choose one of these. I prefer Jarvis. Dither works pretty well too, but I'll stick with Jarvis and make sure that you make the image negative. I already did it, so I'll just press cancel and you should end up with this. After you do that, step 3 1 is to choose a line layer, in this case, layer number 2 for me, which is a line layer, and trace around the Millennium Falcon. I did that again already. Once you have your tracing, three, uh, step 3-2 three is to make another copy of the tracing. So you just click your tracing, right click and copy, and then paste it here. This will be used to cut out the 4mm black acrylic. And step 4 is to apply the mask to image. You select both your image and your tracing, right click, and you have to apply mask to image and you'll end up with this. I'll control Z that because I already did that right here. And then lastly step 5 is to just select your object here and just mirror it. You should end up with these two here. Firstly for your cast acrylic 4 millimeter you'll have this and you have to make sure that um, your speed and power settings uh, for dithering is good. I'll post a link down below on my video on how to properly laser engrave cast acrylic. And then for the second part, this will be 
uh, for the 4mm black acrylic right here. Now for the hyperspeed background, you first need to choose an image again from Google with the hyperspeed and Star Wars symbol. This is the one I chose and you load it into Lightburn, same as before. And then you have to actually size it to the size that you want your nightlight to be. In my case, I wanted it to be uh, the width will be around 179.5 and the height is 119.6 millimeters. Once you load that in there, you right click and dither the image and make negative. Same thing as what we did for the Millennium Falcon. You should end up with this. And then 3-1 is choose the line layer and trace image using the square tool right here. Once you do that, you again copy this square and paste it right here. Um, you also add 10 millimeter fillets right here using this radius tool on the top side of it. So the this one and this one. This will be used to cut out the 4 millimeter mirrored acrylic. And then step 4 is to add more height to the tracing on the bottom for the LED strips to insert into. So as you can see from uh, step three to step four, we added a little bit of space here on the bottom. This will be where your LED strip uh, base will be inserted into, so it doesn't interfere with our design up top here. And you make sure also that this will be uh, the same depth as um, your LED strip base. In my case, my base is 10 millimeters deep. Once you do that, you pretty much just add 10 millimeter fillets on each corner using the radius tool again, and then select both the image and your um, tracing, and you right click and apply mask to image. Once you have that, the last step again is to select everything and choose mirror image up top here. So you have to mirror it horizontally. Same as the Millennium Falcon again. And after that, you should have um, two, two objects. One is this one here, which will be printed on 4mm cast acrylic. And the other one is this piece right here which we will be uh, cutting using mirrored acrylic 4 millimeters. So in total, we should now have four different parts. I should also mention that you can resize your Millennium Falcon based on the size of your hyperspeed background. To do that, you can just select your Millennium Falcon plus your black acrylic and move it close to the middle of this background and drag it um, until you find a good size. For me, this is the size that I like, so I'll leave it like that. And the third and last part is to make the stand for this nightlight. First things first is you create a rectangle with the same height as your LED strip base. As you can see, this one, the height is 11 because my strip, uh, my base is uh, 11 millimeters high and make the width approximately one third of the width of the hyperspeed background. So I will make it around 86. And then after that, you have to add a rectangle below this rectangle that you previously made. Um, add enough height to the lower rectangle uh, so that there will be a compensation for the bend of the acrylic and that the stand will support the night light. So we will actually be heating this up and bending it from this bend line right here. And then step three, we will add 10 millimeter fillets on the bottom edges of the bottom rectangle. Step four, add a line on top of the overlaps and place it in a different line layer. Uh, we will use this line as the bend reference so this one right here, we will actually go to our line tool and go to a line layer. In this case, we'll choose layer number six. 
and we will make a line from here to there. Perfect. Once you have that, step five is you have to select the bottom and the top um, rectangles and you go here. It's a Boolean union. This should join the two rectangles together and leave you with your um, reference line right here. Once you have your reference line, um, you can make the speed and power very minimal so that it'll create just a tiny bit of a line on your piece just enough to show where you need to bend your acrylic once you have that you should have these five pieces um, these are all ready for laser cutting and I organized it like this so for the clear cast acrylic I put it all into one place for the black acrylic all into one place and for the mirrored acrylic all into one place once you have this just send it over to your laser cutter and cut it out and then after that we will um, I'll show you guys how everything is assembled once you're done laser cutting all the parts um, this is how you would assemble it I've already assembled it right here but I'll show you guys the parts um, that you put together so on the back here this is where your mirrored acrylic will be on the bottom here this is where your bent um, stand will be and it will be glued onto this LED strip in the front of your mirrored acrylic is your clear cast acrylic and make sure that the um, engraving is uh, touching the mirrored acrylic so it will be on the other side on this side then you have the two pieces of your um, Millennium Falcon right here what you need to do is you get your black um, acrylic and put it behind your clear cast acrylic of your Millennium Falcon and glue it together on the edges just a little bit of spots on the edges you don't, don't glue it from the surface of the acrylic itself and same thing for the mirrored acrylic and this clear cast acrylic piece here what I did was I just uh, put spots of glue on the edges instead of the middle because you're going to ruin the um, the engraving if you do that so just little spots of glue all around and then after you do that, you place your Millennium Falcon roughly in the middle of the background and glue it on there. And for that, you can glue it in the, um, on the surface of the back of the black acrylic and just place it to where you want to place it. And finally, on the bottom part um, is your LED strip. So this is the base. Pretty much what you do is you put a little bit of glue on the LED and you slide it into the clear cast acrylic part and wait for it all to dry. In the end, you should have this and you just plug it into your USB, a 5 volt source, and it should be ready to go. Here, I'll show you guys again. There you go. If you guys have any questions, again, don't be afraid to leave a comment down below or email me at laserillusionstech at gmail.com or on my Facebook at laserillusionstech or Instagram. And let me know, guys, what else you want to see for uh, on this channel. Um, thanks, guys, for watching and thanks for all your support. Uh, we've reached over a 1,000 subscribers now. And thank you so much um, for for being interested in my content and i hope to show you guys more of these uh soon in the future thanks guys for watching bye